12 years left to save the planet. Warming of 3 degrees Celsius, or perhaps 5 degrees if we don't take serious action now. What if the sea level rises 3 meters instead of 0.5 or 1 meter? Almost every article you read on climate change is full of numbers, starting with 1.5 degrees Celsius, which, as we are told, represents the maximum temperature rise we can allow and still avoid the worst effects of global warming. Except the truth is, it isn't. Hello guys and welcome to Green Radar. As part of the Paris Agreement of December 2015, almost every country agreed to work towards limiting the rise in global average temperature to 1.5 degrees Celsius. To work out what that means, we must first understand where we are right now. Scientists estimate that the global average temperature has already risen by 1 degree Celsius. Thus, we have as much as 0.5 degrees to go before we cross the threshold. And once we reach 1.5 degrees Celsius, a difference of even 0.1 degrees Celsius might seem a lot. So when are we set to pass the 1.5 degrees Celsius limit? Based on the current trends, it should fall somewhere in the 2020s. But as climate is basically weather averaged over many years, we mustn't regard this as the passing of our limit. The threshold will probably be crossed in a period where the warm waters would spread across the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans and temporarily boost the global average temperatures. Therefore, the permanent global rise in temperature above 1.5 degrees Celsius would be around 2040. Several scenarios in the IPCC report states that the temperature shall rise to 1.5 degrees in the middle of the century but shall also fall back before 2100. It is nearly impossible with current technology to revert the decades of fossil fuel burning. And even if we miraculously get the temperature back down to 1.5 degrees, the effects would still be serious due to the faster warming over the next few decades. This momentum which has been created over the past two centuries has grown to such an excessive scale that it could trigger many tipping points on the planet such as the die-off of the Amazon rainforest. Scientists say we have 12 years to save the world. Some others say that we have to act immediately in a way larger than ever before. So what do we have to do? First, we have to reduce net global emissions to zero and the faster we do that the better off we will be. Second. How bad the impact is will depend in part on how much we do to prepare for it. It's time to get serious about adapting to life on a warmer planet. Please help save the planet. Subscribe to Green Radar and drop a like if you learned something from this video. Check us out on Instagram. Watch our other videos to expand your knowledge even more. Thank you for watching and have a good one.